Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Arm Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to give you a bench press challenge or bench press training method that is going to leave you sore. Before I get into this topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. If you need coaching, I'd love to work with you. Check out the link down below. All right, let's talk about the bench press. Way back in the day, around 2007, 2008, I created a training style, a rest pause training style called bulldozer training. Now, bulldozer is basically a rest pause method where you beat a muscle and then before you allow it to recover you rest just briefly and then you get back in the in the ring so to speak and you start to do more reps now one of the methods that i used on bench press was something called escalating rest periods instead of just using a uniform number of rest in between sets i would grow the amount of rest we did after each mini set so you could kind of recover a little bit more and prolong the set a little bit longer. I found the escalating rest period to just make more sense on the bench press. And I also found it to be great for hypertrophy and to be great for muscle soreness. Now let me explain what escalating rest periods mean and what I'm talking about. In the general bulldozer system, there's a couple ways of resting. Basically, you do a set, doesn't matter what exercise, cable, tricep extensions, then you rest anywhere from 15, 20, or even 30 seconds, and then you do more reps. You go for as many reps as possible, rest 15, 20, 30 seconds, do as many rest, reps as possible, and you repeat this for five total mini sets. So basically, like on cable tricep extensions, you'd get like 12 to 14 reps, rest 15, 20, 25 seconds, knock out every seven, eight more, repeat the rest pattern, knock out five to six more, et cetera. So you'd end up somewhere around 30, 35, maybe 40 reps for a five set protocol. And this is just keeping the rest periods standard across the board. This is a great way to train for hypertrophy because you're you're increasing the average quality of every rep. You're, you're no longer doing a lot of useless reps or easier reps at the beginning of sets. You're getting in, you're chasing that hard set, and then before you get a chance to recover, you're beating that muscle again while it's down. Now, what does this have to do with the bench press protocol? Well, with the escalating bulldozer bench press protocol, we're gonna rest a little bit longer as we progress. So as we grow more and more fatigued, we're going to escalate or we're going to increase the period of time we rest so we're able to sustain more reps. This makes it sound like you're gonna be able to do more reps in the last few sets. Actually not the case, it'll just allow you to do about the same because you're so damn fatigued. So here's how it works, rambling aside. You're going to put a weight on the bench press that you can do about 12, 13 reps with, okay? You're going to get under the bar, and we want you to practice safe sets here. So get a spotter, get your catch pins, whatever the case is. One thing I'll say is if you don't have a spotter, if you can't bend safely, watch for your speed. If your speed slows on a rep, that means the next rep you're probably going to fail. So here's how it works. The first set, and we call these things mini sets because of the rest pause style. They're not conventional sets. They're called mini sets. You're going to get under the bar and you're going to bench for as many quality reps as you can. And then you're going to rack the weight and you're going to rest 30 seconds, about 30 seconds. That's your first mini set. You're going to immediately unrack and do as many reps as you can and rest another 30 seconds. So we've done two sets. We've rested 30 seconds. We did a set, rest 30 seconds, a set, rest 30 seconds. We're gonna do five more sets in this protocol. So the third set, you're gonna knock out as many quality reps as possible. Again, we're not gonna to go to failure. We're gonna stop a set when we feel like we might fail on the next rep, be conservative, or when form starts to break down. So for that third set, you're gonna repeat it. 
You're going to knock out as many reps as you can. Then you're going to rest 60 seconds. Then you're going to do a fourth set. And then you're going to rest 60 seconds. Then you're going to do a fifth set. You're going to rest 90 seconds. You're going to do a sixth set. You're going to rest 120 seconds. And then you're going to do a final seventh set. So we have seven mini sets in this rest pause protocol. And we are going to rest 30, 30, 60, 60, 90, and 120 seconds. So the rest periods are escalating. They're increasing. The deeper into this uh, brutal protocol you get, the longer you're going to rest. Now, this is something you can prolong and you can use in your training on an ongoing basis, or you can try as a one-off just to see if you like it. I use this style of training for a complete year back in 2008 and I will tell you I made consistent progress I saw my bench press improve um, it took maybe two three four weeks to acclimate to the rest pause system and once you do once you kind of acclimate to the demands of this type of programming you'll see that you are able to sustain decent progress you're going to note that because the average rep quality is greater in this protocol, you're going to be much more sore than normal in your chest and probably your triceps. Now, if you don't want to switch completely to this type of programming, this escalating uh, rest period bench press, you could do it every other week, kind of a concurrent periodization or nonlinear periodization where you could do conventional bench press work one week, like straight sets, three by eight, or the threes protocol that we use in the Massive Iron World. And the next week you could do rest pause. So alternating between these types of modalities, I find that to be an extremely fun way of training. So anyway, I want you guys to try this. Just to recap, we're going to do seven mini sets and the rest periods are going to move from 30, 30, 60, 60, 90 to 120. Each of these sets is pushed for max safe reps. And while it's considered one big set, it contains seven mini sets. And this one protocol is going to be super engaging, super intense, and it's basically used to replace a standard three set or four set protocol in conventional training. Give this a try. Let me know what you think. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.